welcome back to my channel for those of you who are new here my name is melissa i am a pisces um, also known as green Night phoenix goddess here on youtube and instagram and facebook as well so guys welcome to my channel thank you so much i think you'll find that as a pisces with a lot of different placements in my chart i love to do all kinds of different things but anything again pertaining to my channel will always be linked down below Feel free to book with me if something resonates, if you like my energy, if my energy vibes with yours, please feel free to book. I always have different specials going on, so please make sure you follow on all kinds of media platforms. That way you don't miss out on anything. Um, again, these are always very general, guys, so don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe. It helps me out. And yeah, with all that being said, you guys, again, know how much I love and appreciate you. I hope that these resonate with you guys. And Let's get right into the videos. I love you guys. Mwah. Okay. Hey, Leos. Welcome to your astrology read. So, let's get started, Leo. All right. Um, actually, yeah, let me see. I've been saging before each, like, every sign is reading. So, let me sage really quickly. So, um, really quickly. So, the reason why I decided to do an astrology read for this week instead of starting off with love reads was because I kind of did it backwards, right? Like I did a love read towards the end and then I'm doing an astrology read because with the eclipse and kind of like all the retrogrades and everything like that coming up and like things that are going on, uh, I just deemed it necessary <laughs> to do an astrology read. So let's take a peek and see what's going on for you guys. What's going on for all of my Leos watching now? And all of my Leos will be watching later. What do we got going on? What do we got going on? Oh, you guys got quite a bit. So let's see. You guys got quite a bit. Let me see where I can stand them. Hold on, guys. I'm going to kind of place them around here. Because this is like overall energy. All right. So we're going to place them like all around. And then I'll place that there. Okay. So, oh, look. You guys got your own. Uh -huh, you guys got your own energy. Hilarious. Okay. So, there's some of you who could have some water in your chart. Some of you could be dealing with somebody who's a water sign. Um, but there's a, lot, there's a lot of you that are actually coming into a little bit of a transformation here, Leos. Like, it's almost like if you're, like, now is your time or something like that. You know, it's kind of like the energy that I'm getting. Like, you're, there's a lot of you who are coming out of something here. Like, very transformative. Like, you're... It's almost like your chakras are getting aligned where where you felt a lot of ego. Now you're not really feeling like a lot of ego. You're feeling more confident than anything. But you're definitely a lot of you tapping into your dream state, like really trying to manifest, really trying to visualize. There's a lot of visualization going on here um, for you guys. Hold on, guys. I just got to I got a little bit like warm. So I feel like I got to take my shirt. There we go. Much better. Oh. Okay, so yeah, so there's like a transformation going on here for you guys. You're definitely, um, uh, you know, uh, becoming more creative. You're definitely, ta you're tapping into a lot of stuff here, Leo. There's a lot of things that you guys are tapping into here as overall energy, but very, very transformative energy I'm getting for you guys. And I love to see it because a lot of readings from the past, um, I remember, my gosh, from what I remember, you guys were in like a really like, oh it was like a really sad energy right like it was it was almost like that energy where you were within this bubble and you guys were like in hermit mode and you really were just working through your pain but now that's i'm seeing no no cloud like you guys are coming out of that cloudy state all right um i love it i love to see it i love to see it let's see what else what do we have for my leos what do we have for my leos what do we have for my leos for Leo's. What do we got? So you guys got sixth house and Aquarius. Let's see what else. Yeah, see, so there's not much really that I'm picking up that they might have for you actually. So let's see. A few things here or there, I feel, but let's see. What else? What do we what do we got for my Leo's? Okay, I knew it. I was going to, I'm like, if they don't do a lot from one deck, it's because they got a lot from the other one. Okay. Yeah, see, there's a lot. Yeah, see, there was a lot of healing going on. Um, a lot of uh, really like tapping into intuition, really trying to dig in and get yourselves out of something, right? Um, let's see. All right, what crystal card 
what crystal? Give me a crystal card that my Leos can be using during this time that's going on with the um, the eclipse energy and all of the retrogrades coming together. Like, let's see what's going on. What crystal card for my Leos? But I really love this energy for you guys. I really do. I have to say it's, it's a refresher for you guys to be in this good energy. I love it. They got two for you guys. Okay, so we're going to put it there. So human Titan out of this. Okay, so let's get into it, Leos. All right, let's get into it. So that's what we have for like overall energy, right? So now let's jump into it. All right, I want to do the main um, book first. So we're going to do... We're going to see what's up with the sixth house, what the energy, what messages are given for you guys, and Aquarius. And then we'll jump into the other guidebook, and then we'll jump into the crystals that they recommended. All right? So let's see. So sixth house. So sixth house. Here we go. So the keywords for sixth house is um, disorders, work, the grind, list, change, confidence. Okay? It says, while the fifth house is all about fun, the sixth house card is a sign that it's time to get back to work. Putting off completing your to-do list just results in a longer list. It's better to get ahead so you don't overwhelm yourself later. Look for ways to streamline or switch up your routine to keep things from getting too stale. The sixth house can also mean that something is going on with your health. If you have been neglecting your body, now is the time to try to reconnect with it. Whether it is changing your way of eating or trying different exercises, this card is the boost of confidence that you need, okay? So that's with that. Now let's see for Aquarius. What do they have? What's the message for you guys from the Aquarius card? There we go. So keywords, uh, invention, rebellion, humanitarian, social, offbeat, temperamental, cold, and neurotic. Retreating into your own world is what Aquarius wants you to do when it appears in a reading. Too often, we absorb and internalize other people's emotions and neuroses, and it's time for you to rid yourself of them. Put your phone on Do Not Disturb for an entire 24-7 and have yourself a staycation. The appearance of Aquarius can also mean it is time to loosen up and get a little crazy. You are being given the opportunity to be as out there and unpredictable as you want. If you are someone who always plays it safe, you are being offered a free pass to experiment. Make sure you leap into the water. Now is not the time for waiting. Okay, so that's what you guys have for the Aquarius card. Now let's jump into the other one. So then we got ninth house and then, okay, so let's see. I said ninth house, right? Yeah, so ninth house. Okay. So ninth house, seeking, right? So it says foreign travel, adventure, higher education, customs, faith, beliefs, pilgrimages, spiritual quests, aspirations, journalism, religion, gurus, and risk-taking. So this is what this says. Okay. The ninth house card is ushering in a new era of learning and invites you to take a turn onto the road less traveled. It's time to throw open the shutters of your mind as you sample a new philosophy or approach to a situation that's had you feeling stuck in the mud. What book, course of study, retreat or teacher has been calling your name? If inspiration is lacking, take a visit to your local bookstore and browse the personal development section until a title leaps out at you. Ultimately, this card is in service of you becoming an experiential learner who bows at the altar of personal truth. Journal prompt. The teacher you have learned the most from and how you are embodying their wisdom. So like thinking of like um, a person, right? That like inspires you. Let's see. Sharon, so healing. So healing powers, growth, amends, release. I wanna show you guys. Personal development, inherited issues, self-doubt, generational trauma, shame, sensitivity, forgiveness, superpowers, divinity, cleansing, softness, and pain. Okay, so it's so this card's arrival signals a time of deep cleansing and restoration at a cellular level, which starts with the capacity to abide with and allow your wounded places to rise to the surface. The invitation now is to slow down, melt in. 
Notice where you've been attempting to explain or analyze a persistent sensation out of existence and commit to inviting it in for some TLC instead. Seek to realize that the release itself comes from not turning away, that the way out is always truly through. What do you need to help you soften to your tenderness right now? Journal prompt. List five things that make you cry and why. All right, and then finally, let's go to the moon card. So the moon, so it says feelings. Let me show you guys. Instinct, nurturing, gut reactions, comfort, digestion, home, family, conditioning, habits, femininity, lineage, privacy, embodiment, emotions, sustenance, self-soothing moods, and mother. So it says, what is your gut telling you that you haven't been paying attention to? Your instincts about the situation you are faced with are spot on. So how can you help yourself to trust what you know in your heart to be true and make your next choice from this place? The moon is here to remind you to take whatever steps you need to feel safe and secure in your decision-making process. Perhaps this means more alone time to nurture your nervous system, preparing yourself a nourishing meal, stepping up your self-care, Seeking supportive, empathetic counsel now could also help you tune in. Journal prompt. Write a to-do list from your intuition. Okay? I love that. Oh, my God. I love it. I love it. I love it. Okay. The two crystals that can help you during this time is hematite and then amethyst. So amethyst says, get drunk on your highest self. Amethyst is a lilac to dark purple semi-precious gemstone from the quartz family. The ancient Romans believed amethyst got its lush purple color when the god Bacchus spilled wine on a clear stone. Today, amethyst is believed to assist in connecting with, a, with the big guy in the sky. Who needs it? Train wrecks who go off the rails on the wet and wild route to Bacchanalia or any Pisces. <laughs> Where to put it? The interior decorator's little purple secret. Amethyst can uplift the vibe of any living space. When to use it? When it's time to give up the victim routine and start living with purpose, hold on tight to amethyst, okay? And then hematite, it says align to your wholeness. What it is, hematite is a metallic charcoal that takes its name from the Greek word for blood. Like blood, it's full of iron. And like blood, hematite moves the good to where you need it and takes the bad away from where you don't. Who needs it? Anyone stagnating or spun out on something like a new crush or a lifelong existential dilemma. Where to put it, wherever you are when you realize it's time to come back to earth. When to use it, when you feel stuck, when it's that moon time of the month. Isn't that funny? Check it. Moon time of the month. Isn't that funny? Um, when you want to pull energy from the earth below and use it to make big things happen. It says align to your wholeness. Okay? All right. So, Leos, I hope that was helpful. Um, let me know. Definitely let me know. Don't forget to like, comment, share, subscribe. You guys know how much I love and appreciate you so much. And I will see you guys in the next one. Bye, guys. Mwah.